Hello children, class 5. Good. Today we're going to talk about quantifiers. We are going to revise what we learned during our last video lesson. Quantifiers are used to talk about a quantity which is bigger, which is more than what we want or we need. Okay? But in English, uh, we use two forms. We use too much or too many. Too much is used for uncountable nouns. Let's revise what uncountable nouns are. Countable nouns are nouns we can't count, like water, milk, and bread. They do not have the plural form, so they will never have an S at the end. But if we divide water, milk, and glasses or bottles, and we divide bread in slices or pieces, they become countable, okay? So uncountable nouns become countable when they are divided into parts. Good. So water, milk, and bread is uncountable, and I use the verb at the singular form, is. Remember, we learned there is some water, there is some milk, there is some bread. But if I want to have water become countable, I say there are, uh, there are some bottles of water, there are some glasses of milk, there are some slices of bread. Can you hear what I say? I say I use the verb are, meaning that my noun has become countable. Good. The countable nouns are nouns we can count. I can count apples, I can count eggs, and I can count onions. They have got the singular form, but also the plural form. And when we want to say a quantity is bigger than we need, we use the plural form. With the plural form, the verb we use is are. I've got too many apples. Or, there are too many apples, there are too many eggs, there are too many onions, okay? So, when we want to say something is more than what we need, first we have to look at the word. Is it count countable or is it uncountable? When I see the word is countable, I use too many and the verb is uh, are. If the word is uncountable, I use too much and the verb I use is is. I repeat, there is too much water, there is too much milk, there is too much bread, there are too many apples, there are too many eggs, there are too many onions. Good. Now, we have seen what we use to say if we have more than what we need. But if we have the right quantity of what we need, we use this word. We use the word enough. Se io ho abbastanza latte o ho abbastanza mele, so, I use enough. Enough is used to talk about a quantity we need, which is necessary, and it is abbastanza. It is just right. Enough is used for countable and uncountable nouns. I do not have to decide if my word is countable or uncountable, because with enough, I use it with both. Here are some examples using enough with countable nouns. There are enough eggs. Ci sono abbastanza uova. I've got enough eggs. Ho abbastanza uova. Can you see here countable nouns? Use are and plural form. And here is have got. It depends. If I want to say 
lei ha abbastanza uova, she has got enough eggs. Uncountable nouns uses enough the same. C'è abbastanza pane, there is enough bread. Ho abbastanza pane, I've got enough bread. Anche qui, I have, cambia, if I use he, she, it. She's got enough bread. Here the verb with there is, is, because uncountable only wants the singular form of the verb. Good. Now, if I want to know the quantity of the objects or food I have got, I use how much for uncountable and how many for countable. How much is corresponds to quanto, quanta, how many, quanti, quante. So, for example, for the uncountable nouns, if I want to ask a question, quanta farina ho o quanta farina hai o quanta farina c'è, you say, how much flour have you got? How much salt have you got? How much sugar have you got? How much coffee have you got? Remember that if you use the pronoun, the third person singular, you use how much flour has she got? How much salt has he got? How much sugar has she got? How much coffee has he got? With the rest of the pronouns I use have got. Remember? Good. But usually we use the form with is or are with the, uncount with the countable. How much flour is there? How much salt is there? How much sugar is there? How much coffee is there? We use the verb is because with the uncountable nouns we use a singular form of the verb. And is is before there because remember when we use the verb to be, it is always before there in the question form. Good. Now, if the word is countable, I use how many eggs have you got? How many bananas have you got? How many apples and oranges have you got? If I use he and she, how many eggs, how many bananas has she got? How many apples, how many oranges? Has he got? But I usually use the verb to be, I mean, are, because the words are plural. How many eggs are there? How many bananas are there? How many apples are there? How many oranges are there? Are is before there, because this is the question form. Okay? If I was to say, c'è, c'è della farina, there is some flour. C'è del sale, there is some salt. Vedete che is è dopo there. Ma quando c'è la domanda, quanta farina c'è, how much flour is there? Same thing with countable nouns. Ci sono delle uova, there are some eggs. Ci sono delle banane, there are some bananas. But when I ask, how many bananas I use are there, are goes before there. Good. I hope you've understood this uh, explanation of, of this new grammar rule. Uh, I suggest you to look at this video one, two, three times before you do the exercises so you can do them perfectly well, I'm sure. Good. Take care. I hope to see you soon and uh, see you in the next video lesson. Bye, class five.